Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing something different and something special for the Christmas season. We're going to be doing a Christmas cookie exchange and so I'm just basically going to be showing you what my favorite cookie is that I make every year over and over again. It's a tried and true recipe, so I'm super excited about it. And um, I will be linking the playlist in the description box. And this playlist is going to have all these ladies that are going to be sharing their favorite recipes as well. And if you want to join in on this exchange, just go ahead and leave me a comment below on what your favorite recipe is as well. Um, maybe it's your grandma's recipe or just a family recipe, something that you like to make over and over again. And this exchange is hosted by Luann at Heartfield Kitchen, and she does almost all the things that I do. Um, she likes to bake, she likes to cook, she likes to do budget-friendly stuff, um, canning, and just different stuff like that. She is doing a giveaway, so make sure that you watch her um, video that's coming out today, and um, give her a like, give her a comment. And just make sure that you check her out because she is doing a giveaway and she will be announcing the winner on Wednesday and so I'm pretty excited about this and I just love listening to other people and what their favorite cookies are I love making cookies and all things desserts that's like my favorite thing to do um, so I'm excited to be sharing you with you my favorite recipe okay so I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna get started making these cookies Okay, so this is all that we're going to need to make these cookies. These are going to be pretty fast. It shouldn't take too long to make all these, but we are making them from scratch. So let me show you the ingredients that we're going to be using. Let me. Okay, I'm going to need some sprinkles, vanilla milk, cream cheese, some butter, an egg, and then back there you'll see some flour and sugar. That is it. That is all that we're going to need for this. So let me flip it around and then we'll get started. To a medium mixing bowl, I'm going to put in one stick of butter and you do want to make sure that it's softened and at room temperature or else it's not going to mix with the sugar properly. And then I'm going to add in one cup of sugar and I'm just going to mix that until it's well combined and nice and fluffy and it does take at least five minutes to get all that well incorporated and I did want to let you know if it's not 100% room temperature that you can put through this in the microwave for about 10 seconds and then um, stir it up again and it should be just fine. And then I'm going to add in one egg and then I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla and I'm going to give that another really good stir. Once that's well incorporated I'm going to go ahead and add in two cups of flour and give that another good stir. And then the last thing for these cookies that we're going to add is one teaspoon of baking powder and then we will give that a, another really good stir and then that is it. And I just kept stirring this until it started to form together and then I just kind of used my hands for the rest of it just to kind of make sure that I can form it properly. And then I also kind of use my hands to get any baking powder out that didn't get stirred properly. I don't know what it is, but our baking powder that I bought... I don't know what it is about it, but it does not stir through properly. There's always like little chunks, um, like really teeny tiny chunks that get left in um, if I don't like go through and make sure that it got stirred through properly and make sure that it didn't get um, completely mixed in. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure everything got mixed through properly. I'm just going to work with it so that I can put it on my sheet pan. And I have this sheet pan and I absolutely love this sheet pan because it does not stick to the pan and it is just so, so nice. I got this off of Amazon and I'll leave a link in my description box, but I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend um, getting it. I do really want to get like a bigger one because I just, I love this brand so much. But I'm just going to take my cookie dough and I'm going to um, just kind of place it all over this pan and um, you can do it this way how I'm doing it or you can kind of just roll it out on the table there and then put it on the sheet pan however you want to do it. I just thought this would be um, an easier way. Um, that's just kind of usually how I do it. I'm just going to work with it until everything's nice and even and then it is ready to go in the oven and I put this in the oven at 350 degrees. 
for about 15 to 20 minutes. You really just want to watch it because you do not want to overcook this. Um, this is something that we as a family, we really like it when it's um, more on the soft and chewy side. I really don't like hard cookies. Um, to me, there's nothing worse than biting into a really hard cookie. Now I'm gonna get started on my frosting while that's cooking. So I'm gonna need one um, stick of butter that's at room temperature again, and then I'm gonna need three tablespoons of cream cheese and two cups of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and I usually always add, end up adding more, and then two tablespoons of milk, and I'm gonna give that a really good stir. Get that well incorporated until it's nice and creamy, and if it's still kind of thick, then you can always add in more milk. And once it's to the creaminess that you desire, then we're going to make this extra happy and we're gonna put in some sprinkles. I put in about a fourth of a cup. You can definitely add in more or less. It's just going to make it extra fun and more festive for this Christmas cookie. So I'm gonna take this and just put it on my um, cookie sheet. And you do wanna make sure that everything has cooled down because if you put it on while it's hot, it's just gonna melt and it's going to be a terrible mess. So you definitely wanna make sure that's nice and cooled down. And I'm just going to give it a really nice layer on here and that is it. That is all for this. It is completely done. It's so simple, so easy, and it made quite a bunch of cookies there. And then I just chop it up into little squares. And yes, I end up making some big O squares there. Um, I guess mine's more of like a rectangle, but um, this was so good. All of the kids loved it. My husband enjoys it. Sugar cookies are like one of our favorite things to make. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this content and I hope that you go and check out uh, Luann's uh, channel at Heartfield Kitchen and go um, put your comment down so that you get a chance to win at the giveaway. And I will see you in the next one and Merry Christmas.